showcasing that people are fighting for it. Showcasing that uh, drives them into killing each other. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm learning, <coughs> learning from the Myanmar and then uh, to my 2005 class. Uh, so I do know that the, in the earlier presentation that the life expectancy is 37 years old. Okay. So what are the root causes of this uh, very short term uh, life expectancy? Uh, my name is Pema Gerpa, I'm from Bhutan. So, uh, well, well, Madam, you are presenting we were thinking about our leadership when we we were aware of uh, part with the co-creation, co-creative and ownership, co-ownership. So there was, I was just digging on to the situation which is quite similar. So the, my question is, uh, uh, the intervention, you have done a lot of intervention for livelihood uh, in the rural of Nepal. So how is sustainability strategy you have in your organization and, and the, what's the long runway for impact for them to be themselves something that says that uh, teach them how to fish, not to give them fish. Thank you. Um, I'm really proud of you that you come from such areas that are uh, really interesting and very uh, honorable. Um, my question is that, you know Bangladesh said this is uh, also Nepal, it's a little bit similar in terms of conflict and uh, peace process. My question is that, um, uh, as your organization doing good, my question is that uh, how does the development process address the uh, peace founding process in Myanmar? Well, my experience in Bangladesh is that in 1997 we have a peace agreement, but it's 15 years gone. But still there is no no progress, and also UNDP are in India and just they are trying to economic development, and uh, they are not um, triggering the political issues. Um, another one is uh, it's a very good point that. For your partners, uh, you are working on the right based approach, uh, community people um, to uh, demand in their rights. Um, so, the question is that um, the government, uh, Nepali government, there is some um, services provided by government, uh, provided to the community. And another one is there is no, no uh, provisions for the community. Which one is uh, concentrating on your work? Thank you very much. Um, we'll just discuss a little mm -hmm. um, Your sharing is very inspiring. So, um, just going back to the statement, the 37 years life expectancy, I would like to um, know uh, more about women rights issue. Um, at what age uh, women get married in Nepal in this in this area? So, do you have child marriage um, cases? And uh, what exactly what uh, women's rights violation you have there? What is um, very pronounced? So, this one would be uh, my question. Can I answer this question? <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes it's difficult to manage. I'm also learner. I'm not expert. <laughs> the first question I'm learning is uh, uh, maybe in, uh, in Philippines we also have the same problem. And you, um, you understood the country in a different way. But what I, I, I mean in terms of Nepal, the conflict, it is not look like um, the conflict of Middle East and South Africa. Uh, it means um, it is only the outcome of the poverty. The people who are joining the competence, who are um, working uh, as a Maoist, 
they are uh, i gone through the all literatures also it's direct experience with the combatants they are deprived from the basic needs basic rights and uh, they do not have the opportunity they do not have a identity respect dignity at their community because, because we have the caste system they are extremely poor they do not have any opportunity and they join because the communist party maoist at that time they manipulate they use the agenda uh, agenda they are looking for the inclusion they are looking for the poor they are the representative of the poor so they, they saw the opportunity there that is why they join that is why uh, 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 my organizations and my teams believe on that the conflict in nepal is not uh, uh, the conflict uh, in other uh, areas of the world this is a kind of option alternative party fighting the government che party party fighting the government yeah they are fighting the government they are fighting the government and other other political parties but now in 2006 we have already peace uh, complaints in peace sector and the mars already in the government <laughs> two times the mars already in the government even though they are uh, merely failed to demonstrate their agenda in, in practice but in the beginning this is this is the, uh, the situations uh, we have the second alliance right, yes. uh, yeah uh, in in this area if you see the national life expectancy of the women it is 60 years but in that area um uh, we have to go through the history history analysis it is a, a, a part of the uh, analysis of this uh, pr tools if you see the history so about three years back that people the, the people who are uh, who were in that area they had a trade they had a relationship diplomatic relationship with the egypt but when the unification of nepal uh, took place in uh, about three years back and then that area is marginalized gradually and they uh, they differ from the basic things they don't have no um, health facilities i saw many women die in front of me because of the bleeding because of the diarrhea because of uh, uh, influenza see many children many girls um, many women are dying and there is no uh, food and like in the philippines uh, in, in that area people are looking for the rice but in that area there is no much rice much land for the rice cultivation so uh, they depend on the basic nutrition and the government is unable to provide now the new agency is providing the subsidies rice here is still there is a problem the, the, the photo which i used is a mali norish child this is the i just struggled to two months ago uh, i just took this photo so it's still Uh, these areas are the most um, common area for the chronic malnutrition there are multiple uh, issues life expectancy is a kind of indicator only very the they have very um, traditional beliefs and practices they don't like to go to hospital if there is a hospital they don't like to go to hospital you know why there are many rivers many bridges and they don't like to according to their religious beliefs they don't like to cross the bridge if they cross the bridge the god will angry even if there is a hospital or help from other personnel it is not it will like away so there are multiple issues because there is no exposure interaction with the people there is no television there is no radio proper there is no transportation there is only way of transport is right it is too expensive so they don't have exposure they don't have a confident they don't have opportunity to learn what is the life expectancy of the man uh, 60 something so 60 60 almost double. all all yeah almost double the women mm, mm, yeah this life expectancy is not only um, not for applied for all nepal the part is applied for the Uh, far and uh, middle east of nepal i'm talking the one of the most remote most complicated uh, most rural area all one from bhutan yeah you are very we rightly raised the questions we are working in in various levels 
local, national, and international level pathway. And we also trying to address uh, for uh, thematic areas. Based on our experience, our team member experience, and going through all MDM and other exposures, what we realized that if you really want to transform the rural area, you have to address in multiple ways. Let us take one example. Many people are ready to provide this scholarship. They proudly say, I am providing scholarship, allocating $100 per month for the, for the sake of the scholarship. But who will utilize this scholarship in that area? There is no uh, teachers. Those teachers who are available are not uh, qualified. Even they don't know the how to teach it, they don't know the content in the, in the textbook. And the parents, they don't value the education, they send their uh, children to the they enroll for the sake of taking the benefits from the government and they send their children to the forest and farm. See, there are multiple problems. So unless and until you don't address the all uh, kind of issues at the same time, you can't uh, um, transform the rural areas. It is not applied only in that area. It may be applied uh, and duplicate across the other countries um, where there is extreme poverty. And in terms of sustainability, we are not giving the money. We are not giving the class. Even the class, we have a code of conduct. And if you like to donate your um, shorts, you don't allow to give just a handover to me. You have to pay some money. If you pay some money, it belongs to the dignity. You are contributing for the people, for the humanity. You are not just um, narrating and just uh, you feel a kind of uh, sympathy and you give it one sort. It is not like that. And while distributing the cause, there is a group, there is a code of conduct, and the group themselves um, uh, practicing the norms, and they have to buy the uh, cloth again. No matter whether you buy in the Asia or in the in the goods are here. You pay you know, the person if the person has paid, there's a feeling of bonding, dignity, respect. And so the, 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 that money again will not go to the organization, will not use by us. The money will go to their semi creditors and they use for their own their other activities. So this is a kind of mobilizing their resources. So we believe on that. It is, it is, still we have to go a long way. It is only three years. And we are trying to connect the social business concept, Brahmin Bay concept. But we are very much confident it is sustainable. And based on my experience, maybe he knows very well from friend from Bangladesh. And I worked in Care International in 2007 to 9. And that time my project. Um, uh, nominated the best successful project in Nepal and that project is still replicating by UNDP across the Nepal. So that is, that is why we believe in that. We, in our team we have three, three uh, friends um, socialized from that background. We have that type of competency and leadership. So we believe we can continue 